dogs are so intuitive. Eric, he was trying to get up there for the solar eclipse. There he he knows it's coming. He's like, wait, am I, did I come early? Did I show up am I couple, allowed to look at the sun? Early. All right, welcome back out on Monday then. And, uh, the weather looks a lot better for eclipse viewing on Monday. If you're watching tonight, Zeus, great day to be on the roof. Take a look at our radar tonight. We're looking at some heavy rainfall on the south coast, the Cape, and the islands. A lot of the heaviest totals focused in this part of the state. Still raining very heavily throughout the overnight. Just elements of torrential rainfall. You can feel it. It's air you can wring out with a sponge out there this evening. Heaviest rainfall in New Bedford, right? Right now in the Westport area, Cushing getting some downpours as well. This all moving its way off toward the east northeast and rain along the whole length of the Cape right now from Sandwich through Barnstable, Sandy Neck pouring. Hopefully not too many people camping out on the beach this evening. Wellfleet and the harbor getting some heavy rainfall as well. And this is going to be the spot where we add to our rain totals overnight. Also some big rain totals in New Hampshire earlier on this evening. New, uh, Milford, New Hampshire over uh, an inch of rainfall earlier on today. Thanks to Kim for reporting in. New Bedford is approaching two with this thunderstorm that's starting to roll in. About a half inch in Centerville, climbing, Plymouth over a half inch of rain. And on the South Shore, Arnold and Hanover, just under a quarter inch of rainfall. We're watching a cold front. It's not exactly cold behind it, but it is a wind shift, which will bring in eventually some drier air over the course of this weekend. And again, the best chance of heavy overnight rain is toward the South Coast and the Cape. Early tomorrow morning, there should still be quite a bit of cloud cover around and a chance for a couple of early day showers. And then as the morning progresses and we head toward midday in the afternoon, skies become partly sunny and it becomes quite hot outside tomorrow. It'll still be muggy and temperatures well up into the 80s. And I think we stay dry throughout most of the afternoon. There's just a very slight chance of a pop-up shower. In terms of humidity, those dew points are really high when we wake up. Tomorrow afternoon, we start to dry out a little bit west of Boston, but from the city south and east, it's still going to feel very swampy outside. Then on Sunday, this is where we really see some change. Dew points in the 50s to around 60. It'll be a more comfortable heat for the second half of the weekend. So some morning clouds, a couple showers, slight chance of a pop-up shower in the afternoon tomorrow. Highs near 87 with the humidity might feel like 90 degrees or even a little above 90 at times. So definitely hot in the afternoon. Saturday nights, a slight chance of a shower in central Mass or New Hampshire in the 60s. Then Sunday's mainly sunny and less humid. Great summer day in the mid 80s across the area. So for the Cape and the islands, it'll be a slow start tomorrow. I do think we can work in some sunshine as we head especially into the afternoon. And then on Sunday, and Monday, we're looking at low 80s. The wind is a land breeze on Sunday and Monday, so I'll bring those temperatures above the 80 degree mark. For the Sox, they likely stay dry. Big game. Chris Sale on the mound tomorrow night against the Yankees. Mid 80s on Sunday. No issues for an afternoon game. And Falmouth Road Race going on on Sunday. Good luck to anyone who's running out there. Good news is the humidity will be falling by this point, even in Falmouth. Still on the muggy side, but not as oppressive as what we have right now. Then we go to Eclipse Day on Monday. And the forecast, no changes. Well into the 80s, mostly sunny skies. It starts at 128. Our peak eclipse is at 246 Monday afternoon. We get a 63% eclipse, which means a dimming of the sun. And it all wraps up at about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And overall, I think the best place to be if you're traveling this weekend, Oregon and Idaho. Those are the spots that... Actually, on average, would have the clearest skies, and if you plan with the averages, you win. So here's the AccuWeather 7-day as we look toward next week. A lot of warm weather for us. Humidity's back by Tuesday, and storms cool us off Wednesday. David and Paula, back to you. All right. Thank you so much, 